He spoke for the very first time since first appearing in court for numerous assault charges. Alex Castro expressed his remorse for the beating that occurred, but maintained that he did not punch Petty Officer Dunham in the face. I'm sorry that I got into a fight. Um, and I'm sorry that the defendant got injured the way he did, but I know I didn't hit him. Um, I was obviously in a situation where uh, I was under the influence and I was in a situation where I was trying to protect some of my friends. Um, at the same time, it ended up in a bar fight. Um, I had my back against the wall. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just trying to defend myself. And um, ever since these allegations um, happened, I've been out on crew job um, on bail. And um, I've, been, um, I'm do I've been doing my best to, to make changes. His attorney, Tom Fisher, fought to have all his prison time suspended. He explained that since first being arrested for the bar brawl at Club Hannah in Tumon, Castro has become a changed man, giving back to the community and speaking with children about bullying. Fisher argued that Castro's sentence should be suspended because his co-defendants in the case, Kyle Regis and Elbert Cruz, both accepted plea deals and got their sentences suspended. But despite their attempts to save Castro from any prison time, Judge Alberto Lamarena said he needs to send a message out there that what Castro did was unacceptable. So the court wants to at least send a message to these young men and women. I like to be like Alex Castro, but not the Alex Castro that happened that night. And Mr. Castro, you have that duty, you have that responsibility to all our young men, especially those that were charged with you, that looked up to you, that admired you as their hero. And, and we can't tolerate that kind of action. So the court will sentence you accordingly for the assault of aggravated assault as a third degree felony. The court will uh, follow the uh, recommendation of the Attorney General. Five years to my corrections, <clears throat> three years to serve, the rest suspended. For the assault, I agree with Mr. Fisher that has, is a lesser included aggravated assault. So the court will give you zero cents on that. I'll just say one day to serve concurrently. For the assault of reckless conduct as a misdemeanor, one year to Department of Corrections to serve consecutively. Okay, so that's a total of um, a potential of six years Department of Corrections, but you serve three. During the sentencing hearing, a surprise witness came forward with damaging testimony about the victim in the case, Jarrett Dunham. Attorney Mike Berman claims that Dunham lied on the witness stand when he testified against Alex Castro. Berman accused Dunham of trying to pick a fight with him at the W, another bar in Tumon. 30 minutes later, he comes back. He asked my wife to dance. So I said to him, I said, you need to go away. He said, he said are you talking to me? I said, yeah, I'm talking to you. He says, you want a piece of me? He started to pull his shirt off and wants to fight me. And I'm there with a really thin DJ, a Chinese guy, he's about six foot one. It's me and him and four women. And so people kind of rushed in and broke it up. And while that is going on, he's lunging over the crowd, trying to get at me, shooting the bird at me, using the F word very aggressively. He's a liar and a con man, and I respect the prosecutor. And I think he should be charged with uh, lying under oath. This statement is completely false. What he did to me that night was six months or a year after this event.